The one thing as a corner when you're playing man to man is you cannot give up inside leverage. You have to be patient. I know it's hard and it's easier for me to say and it takes reps for you to be comfortable with this. When this receiver does that, we're going to look down here. I forgot to tell you. We're going to look down here. First of all, as a corner, you have to be patient. Second thing, as a corner, your arms are so important. You cannot swing them back while you're bagging forward, bagging backwards. You got to hit them with that inside arm. Either you're going to slow back pedal. I don't like the back pedal because the feet gets too wide. So now it loses base. You should not be hopping. If you're going to slow back pedal, you got to slow back pedal. Not this. This isn't very good technique at the bottom. Or you can just shoot with your inside, his right arm. Just shoot and be patient. Let him. You want him to be almost even with you. You want him to go around you and get to about here. And now you can run with them. Okay. If you shoot your hands, you cannot give him that right there. And now you're outside. He's outside him. He's head up the outside of him right now, which then gives him up the inside plus his shoulders are high. This is something we cannot be doing in week 10. This is unacceptable technique. Here's the deal. Sometimes as corners, we get lazy. It's true. We all get it. But not on third and eight, though. Not on third and eight. You know they got the pass. First and 10, maybe... Second and three, maybe, because you know they're going to run, but not on money down. This is a corner's money down. You don't do this on money down. You cannot give up the inside. That's unacceptable. I don't care. He has a pretty good recovery, but no, it's too little, too late.